That's really nice. Yay, loft finds! There you go. Oh, wow. I bet there's a collector's market for this. I found out what the substance is in this little Bakelite pot. Hello, I thought we would um, take you with us on our first trip up in the loft. So we're in a new house. We have a loft hatch here. There's another one at the front of the house. We're going to explore this one because we have lots of stuff we need to find homes for and some stock to squirrel away. So um, if you want to take over, I'll try and run my way up there. Now I do know there's a loft ladder. I'll put my torch up there. Okay. very dark hang on oh right I don't know if you want to follow me up and poke your head up there's a tape measure do 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 mind your back so uh, this house is old. Um, the front two bits, there's one peak roof here and another one in the front of it. They're about 300 years old. This back part was added on later. And look at that, you can see this was the back peak of the roof and they've cut through this when they've added this rear bit on, haven't they? Because there, would, there wouldn't have been any outer roof. So that's all been open whenever they built this back bit. Do you reckon? Yeah. Was that fast? Well it's kind of sideways like Watland door almost isn't it? It would have been tiled over the top. It would have pan tiles on here. Wow that is a mess under there. Oh. Blimey. There's some insulation. <laughs> Now we can get access to this one somewhere over there. So we might try that another day. Or oh, I could stick my head up there later on in this video. There's a roll of insulation there. Random. Okay, so that part's not really practical. But this bit has light and boarding. And boarding. That's a lump of copper. Ooh, hello. That can go uh, in my scrap pile. We have the obligatory Christmas tree feet, a tape measure, a some plumbing bits. They've obviously had some plumbing work done up here, and there's bits of it left. Empty bag. Right, we have goodies. You've got two hands. Do you want to see if there's anything in there? It doesn't feel like it. It's very light. No, it does feel light. But it's a laptop bag. I bet there's wadges of cash in it. Oh, what a disappointment. Anything in the front? Zip here. Oh. No, okay. One laptop bag and then a box. Oh, hello. We have a four poster bed for you. <laughs> Can you get a hand on that? Oh, they're little, um, like sanding and Moulding heads, aren't they? To put in a drill. Oh. It's like a little set. A model making, For I guess. Sweeping tiny chimneys. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> what is that? 
Maldonen Studio. That's cute. Little ceramic house. That's an empty bag. And then loads of. Uh... Oh. Oh. Siamese cat. 1975. 75 is a year after I was born. Yeah, you were born. A year after I was born. Oh yeah, you're 74. Somebody won knockout cup runner up. 83-84. Oh my goodness. This can't be anything to do with the people that we bought it from. No, it predates previous owners. So that looks like it's cards. Look, they've got cards there. So bridge or poker or whatever. Uh, yeah, absolutely filthy doll's house stuff. Wow. Oh, this thing is right in the way. Let's see. Oh, there's a little box. Oh, you've got two hands there. That way up, that way up. There you go. What the hell? Wow. Needles? Razor Limited. Rolls Raider. One Rolls Raider. Razor. <laughs> Friction clip and pin. That's cool. These will be razor blades in here, won't they? Guessing so. Wow. Oh, we'll have to take that down. That's really nice. Let's see what that is. What's this bit? I don't know. It's Baker Light. Yeah, I don't know what it is. That is a cool little find. Okay, so we're liking those items have a little bit of value and then the rest of it looks to be yeah it's all wooden dolls oh this light switch absolutely will you just absolutely filthy though it is oh they were wrong with them, yeah. oh wow <laughs> oh my goodness agfa futura kodak okay it's two Oh my god, there's loads! Five, six, seven, eight. What do we do with them? Can you even get them developed? They're not 30, they're not regular they're 35, not 35, are they? Mil, no. I don't know, let us know in the comments what, what can we do with those. Might be quite an interesting video if we got one developed. That's weird. And then a felt tip pen and a load of doll's furniture. Doll's house furniture. Oh, another one. Oh my goodness. What was that, 10? Why do you have all those rolls of film and never develop them? I don't know. So, so that's that box. 8384. Do you think that was to do with yeah. the people that ran the post office? Maybe all this stuff belongs to the lady that ran the post office. Maybe. So that was an interesting box. There's a box over here. There's the obligatory Christmas bauble. <laughs> to go with the Christmas tree. To go, let's pop that there. Pencils. Yep. Don't know what that is. Some very old wallpaper. And this box. Oh. Empty maybe. Yeah, just got bits of paper in. Should we go and stick our head up the other hatch and see what's in the other end? Because if you go in there and round the corner, there's a loft hatch in our ensuite. Right, we are now in our ensuite off the bedroom. And as I said, loft hatch number two, which is at the end of that other bit, the peak roof that we looked into. So there's no loft ladder here. So I have step ladder. So if you can point that and I'll try. <coughs> At least get my head up in there. I don't know if there's a light switch. This end. Sorry, you can't see what I can see. So we were over there. 
down there and turn left. Well, this is usable storage space for stuff we just need out of the way. What is that thing? I can't get up any higher. Hang on, let me just put you down. There's something over there. What is that? What is that? I'm on tent to hook down here. There you go. Oh, wow. <laughs> is that a calculator? Um, That's the most random thing. Yeah, it does. It's look got like a plug. It. Yeah, it does because there's a screen on it. Can you grab the plug? Ooh, yuck! Right. Oh, it's got a. What's the make of it? Um, Abla, maybe. Abla. Adler. Adler? Oh, yeah. Right. Well, we'll look that one up, see if that's worth anything. There's just mess up here, really. But if I get this properly insulated and boarded, this would be a really handy storage. Oh, there's TV aerial there. And more plumbing fittings everywhere. Someone have fun. Oh, scrap. Oh. Lump of copper. <laughs> Right, if I pass you down, you can see me dangling my feet and trying to get out. Oh, gosh. Well, that is really usable space though. Up to that first cross beam, if I board this out nicely for like, I don't know, camping gear, stuff we don't need access to very often. That might be handy if we don't want to put it in the other one, that is. Yeah, Adler, you're right. Adler 1214. Oh, it's got an on-off. Let's take this down. We'll take this down to the kitchen now. <laughs> Plug it in. I hope we don't blow it up. And then uh, I'll see if I can find one on eBay. That's the most random. I didn't expect to find a calculator in the loft. Maybe it's to do with the old post office and stuff. You're obsessed with the old I post am. office. But I'm just thinking that they might have used that. And, you know. Why would they shove it in the loft? I don't know. Right, okay, let's go and have a look. Adler 1214. So uh, we're going to risk, risk it. How do I? It was on. Oh, it was on? It is on, that's it. Oh, hang on, let me get a cloth. <laughs> Yay. No way, hang on. <laughs> yes. They, they built these to last. <laughs> they <laughs> built them to last. Okay, that works. That's awesome. Right, I'm going to have a look on eBay. See if we can find a completed one of these. So I searched the exact model and it came up with nothing. So just Adler Calculator has brought up a bunch of results. I don't think we're going to get rich off this one. Uh, let's find something similar. That's similar. Oh, 30. 121 PD. So a different model but similar sort of size and shape and screen. That's similar. Does that print off there? Does that look like a roll? Is that got a printer? I don't know. Twenty. That's in America. Twenty-two pounds. Another similar-ish one. Yeah, that looks like it has it. With a printer, you think? Printer, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that's what the P probably stands for. So who knows? I'll clean it up. Sell it. Might make twenty quid on it if I'm lucky. Thought we'd take a quick look in here, close up as well. Rolls razor. Okay. Some sort of. Mm. Mm. It's a nice little pot, though, isn't it? Yeah. Are we thinking that's Bakelite? I think it, it looks, looks like it. Like and then we've got these two matching. 
cases, which I reckon will have blades in. Unused rolls razor blade. A little carry case. I bet there's a collector's market for this. Okay, that one's a bit exposed. Two blades in cases, and this made in England by Rolls Razor Limited friction clip and pin. Friction clip and pin. Oh, I don't want to get that out, I'll probably never get it back in again. Never been used by the look of it. Oh, look, I've messed up the packaging now. Oh. And then the little ceramic, it's like a mill, isn't it? Because it's yeah. got that thingy there where they'd hoist stuff up. And it says. Molden End Studio. Is that Pelham, Suffolk? Yeah, I hope so. England. Interesting. Right, I might just quickly look up some of this Rolls Razor stuff, um, just out of interest. So if it's worth something, you can have it on your radar. See what we can find. So the little case with the razor blade in um, found plenty of results on eBay. Um, 12 pounds there for the case and the exact same blade and little cover. Um, eight pounds here, eight pounds, so yeah, not bad. 12, 14, that's a different color case. That's the same color, 14. So not too shabby when we found two. So that's those, Let's see if I can find this. Okay, so I found out what the substance is in this little Bakelite pot. It is called strop dressing. So for my limited knowledge, the strop is the strap that you rub your razor blades on to sharpen them. So I assume it's some sort of lubricant or, I don't know, it helps the sharpening process. Not sure, but anyway, that's the same pot there. They sold it, not for a great deal, as you can see, that went on offer and they had the box. Um, one here, they also have this little friction clip and pin. So with the uh, strop dressing, 1290 plus postage. So there's a little market for them. As you can see, there's one, just the same as ours that we just found. Eight pounds plus a pound shipping. So not bad. So I may well put those together I could even do a nice little lot like that and then maybe one on its own. Yeah, not bad at all. And quickly, the little uh, mill, um, I misread that before. It's Malden End Studio, Pelsham, Suffolk. Um, and there's no real value. There's a, a bundle of them there sold for five cottage there sold for three plus shipping four of them including the second one along is exactly the same um, so four there molded end studio 10.99 plus shipping so you think you're gonna keep this one then yeah find a shelf for that yeah cool hello it's a bit later and do you remember there was a box up there I think it was a printer box well, I emptied that out and found some more goodies. I found two first class stamps, which are still usable. They have change stamps now to be barcoded, um, but I read that you can trade in the old ones because these now have a limited amount of time you can use them. Um, but yeah, that was nice. There was these which are really cool, wooden um, like stamping blocks and it's numbers 0 through to 9. Never been used. Really nice thing. A um, little bit of brass. And the newspaper that was in that box is all dated 1989. And that's around the time 
that this stopped being the village post office in the 80s. Um, so perhaps this was from when it was a post office and that's what's left of their possessions. And like you said, that calculator, yeah. may, maybe... That's what I said, you said I was obsessed with the post office. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you are. But it makes six stamps, stamps, numbered blocks, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, the, the date ties in with when it was a post office, but who knows. So that's the extent of our loft finds, a calculator, a little ceramic house, mm -hmm. a load of used camera film. Some doll's house furniture that we can try. Doll's something. house furniture, some scrap copper. Yeah. Is that it? Christmas tree base and a bauble. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> we might put that bauble on the tree, just you know. Just you want to keep the, keep the bauble? Yeah, don't chuck it out, we'll put it on the tree. We're keeping the bauble. Anyway, right, we can now um, start putting stuff in the loft. Yeah. Now we've had our loft adventure. Yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> Take care. We'll share another video on screen somewhere here, so please check this one out. Till next time. Take care. See you soon. Bye.